What's up Diablo fans 5 here and today we are video is going to be me going to the pony level aka whimsy shire and um, also give you guys my thoughts of where the game stands uh, as Diablo 3 um, for console and I don't know try to you know explain some of the things that they can improve because every game can be improved um, and I think this game has a lot of room for improvements um, over the PC and um, one of the main things that has really been bugging me and they did make a blue post about it a viewer actually let me know that they did make a post which is kind of cool you know they are listening with the issues and that's with the square gems that fall in Inferno because you have to backtrack. You have to go back to hell to farm up these tomes of jewel crafting because they don't fall in Inferno. And it's regressing in, in your character. So that, you definitely don't want to do that. For years, there was nothing about um, Yet so they, they made a blue post saying, you know, we're going to work on it, we're fixing it, and it's going to be in a patch that we haven't, you know, we're working on. Um, we don't know when it will be. Uh, just due to the fact that they have so much on their plate right now with uh, making um, PlayStation 4 version of Diablo and then also um, the other development teams working on uh, the expansion and they have other projects that they've been working on. So I, I can understand, you know, we probably won't get it uh, after Blizz, you know, until after BlizzCon, maybe the first of the year. By the time that rolls around, I'll already be Paragon 100 and already be fully gemmed out, which, yeah, that's okay, you know. But at least they're they're acknowledging that there is an issue and that they're working on it. That's kind of, um, a you know, thing in the right direction for um, for the console because you know PC they didn't really give us much uh, in the beginning. You know, they didn't really we told them what issues were happening and they just really kind of said yeah you know we know blah blah but you know deal with it basically um another thing that i think that would really improve the quality of the game and the replay value of the game would definitely be the experience um some of you guys always ask like well why is the mob density sucks and everything else like that and the reason why is because it's not going to be as good as it is on PC because of hardware constraints. Um, we have equipment that's five, six, six years old. And it's going to be kind of tough, you know, to put a game that just came out last year and is designed for a PC onto the console with the same exact um, density and everything else like that. Same affixes. Just, it's just hardware restraint, you know. So that kind of sucks. So what they could do is probably calculate some type of equation to basically counteract the whole entire mob density for XP. Because we're not we have the XP nerfs of PC, but we don't have the mob density of PC. So it's taking even longer to level up uh, Paragon once you get to the higher higher levels. Because, you know, on PC, you if you played it, you can earn $400 million an hour. You can, you know, get a couple good runs, and it'll put you around $400 million an hour, which is pretty damn good. Um, you know, since 99 to 100 is $323 million or something like that. So, um, but they could do something like that, I think, would really improve the game, really improve the people to stay and play their game. Um, and I think that's you know your number one goal is to keep your fans and keep that excitement you know throughout the whole entire process of paragon 100 and you know some people aren't as you know i wouldn't say hardcore for you know hitting paragon 100 you know they play a little bit more casual but it, it would help the hardcore players out and the casual players out a lot i think uh if they could do something something like that and on the other hand, um, I was also thinking one of the reasons why maybe they didn't do the XP, uh, buff up the XP, is because you have so many, uh, you, your Paragon is covered by all your tunes. So if you get all your tunes to level 60, 
you share the same exact paragon. So I'm thinking maybe that's one of the reasons why they did not uh, do it because you know you're you don't have to level just one character and have its own individual paragon. Each character shares it. So they could have just done that and not worry about the XP and just say, okay, well you know you are leveling up you know your paragon uh, for the other characters also at the same time. And at the same points, people are going to be like, well, what if I don't play other characters? How is that, you know, that's affecting me? So maybe that's one of the reasons why they didn't do an XP. Maybe they never thought of it, you know. Um, but I really do think that will help the state of the game and keep people playing, um, you know, for a long time. Um, and last and uh, but not least is is a touchy subject for for everybody that's been playing this game and that's the modding the game save files the the hex editors everything else like that where um people are already paragon 100 because of this um i haven't addressed this before uh on youtube um i have I, I address it every day on the stream because somebody comes in and says you know why are you wasting your time People are already Paragon 100. They were Paragon 100 the second day that the game came out. Also, first day, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, it's not legit and have to explain. And, or, you know, hey, I have a weapon that's, you know, 14,000 damage with three sockets. Did you want it? You'd be able to do MP, you know, 10 and, you know, be able to steamroll through shit. And I'm like, no, that's a modded weapon. And then they're like, no, 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 no. My friend, he, he got it and he's not a, you know, he found it and everything and it's not a mod and blah, blah, blah. He gave it to me, and then having to show him the video, every, all the stats are the same, so um, I really think Blizzard dropped the ball with this, um, and it goes back to shows me that I looked on the forums and everything else like that last night, and I didn't see any blue post of them caring about it, um, which th that, that's kind of kind of sad uh, that they are not addressing this issue. And Blizzard meant the game save file to be put on a USB for you to go over to your friend's house and be able to take your character with you wherever you go. Really great concept, but of course, you know, there's always going to be bad apples that are going to ruin that. And they don't make the experience for other gamers. Now, that's one of the reasons why I play offline right now is because I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want... Um, a modder to come in and you know basically ruin the whole entire experience of a run for me and um and you know that's another you know thing that people do say is like well you, you know you don't have to do you don't have to play online you don't have to play with other people you don't have to have an open you know party where people can join and everything else like that but where's the fun of that where you're just distancing yourself and not playing with other people and you know, you can only play with your friends and enjoy the game with your just your friends or, or solo. Why can't you join it with other people? And um, a few people said, you know, they can't even join a, uh, a party without somebody um, having a modded fucking, you know, sword or, you know, modded character or anything else like that. So, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts about these three topics that I uh, brought up about... You know, the differences of with the gems and with the XP and then the money. I mean, do you agree with all that? Or, you know, you're cool with, you know, the mod of modding the game and everything else like that. Like what they do in Borderlands, Borderlands 2 and other games like that. But this is my run. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hearing my thoughts and opinions on the game and the way that it is. It's a really good game, and if you do enjoy Diablo or a really good action RPG dungeon crawler where you're looking for loot and you get to, you know, play the game over and over again and not get bored with it, this is a game for you um, if you don't have, you know, a PC or anything else like that. But um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for the love with the comments and also the subscribes. Uh, videos. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. We're trying to hit our goal of 200 subs uh, subscribers. We already hit the first goal of 100 uh, just here recently. I want to thank you guys for that. 
Uh, but thank you. Have a great day.